Hi everyone. Oh, like waving to the oops. There you go. Wrong side of the camera. Hello. Let me just make sure we are on. We'll get a couple people on. Let's see. Facebook has changed some things on me, and so I'm having a little more trouble. There we go. Navigating some places. I'm figuring it out, and um, but it's just I don't know. They change things all the time, so I'm just figuring it out. All right. So there we go. So I am live and hopefully uh, we'll get some live joiners, but I know it's a beautiful summer day. So some of you are probably hopefully enjoying it. Um, we have had some awful heat up here, humidity, and um, today has a nice little breeze. It's not as hot. Tomorrow's going to be kind of nasty. So if you are out enjoying it, enjoy and watch this later. All right. Okay, great. So we have Debbie watching. I don't know what your weather is, Debbie, because you are pretty far away from me. Hopefully you have a beautiful day. Hi. Um, great. So I'm glad we are live. And I hate all that um, chit-chatty stuff. So I always kind of get down to what I was going to do. So I'm going to do that. And hopefully we'll get some more people to join and to say hello. And I can read my comments on the computer because I'm going to flip my phone down in a second. So perfect. So today um, we are going to make, let's see, I'm going to make this card, a little bathing suit card. We have been doing lots of Christmas. Hi, Laura. Um, and so I, cause I said I was going to do all stuff on the catalog, the holiday catalog in July, but I thought we needed some summer stuff because as much as I like doing Christmas stuff, I don't want to lose the season that we're in. So I'm going to do some bathing suits cards and I'm going to show you how I created a little texture in depth with the watercolor pencils. So let me flip this down. Give me a second. Turn it around. Sorry if you get dizzy. Someday, I say this all the time. Someday I'm going to get that whatever it is I need. So I don't have to do that. I'm actually buying a new computer next weekend. Because um, my computer cannot handle all of the stuff I'm trying to do at once. <laughs> not happy with me so I thought my sense of the new computer might do what I need it to do so all right move that I put this here I'll say this now and I'll say it at the end too I sent this out in my email yesterday I'm offering an August special um, I do that I have done, done that last couple of years of the second month of celebration whether it be winter or summer um, and ordering incentive um, so if you spend or order $100 of products with me you still get to choose some celebration items and they just added on new things which is kind of exciting um, but I will also um, send you a pack of festive gems they're kind of red green gold Christmassy colors um, a wink of Stella pen which I'm going to use today um, and an exclusive tutorial I'm going to make I haven't done it yet I have it in my head um, an over-the-top card and envelope so it'd be super involved not for beginners but um, you follow the steps and you'll be fine and that won't be found anywhere that tutorial is only for um, people who do this special so that's what that's about all right Let's see here. Hopefully I have everything done. So we, I, I met with a couple of my team members a couple of weeks ago now, and we did a shoebox swap and um, I had filmed some of it. And so this was actually my design that um, we all made. And so it's, you can see it's, you know, it's pretty basic, it has stripes of the ink color paper on the back. But what I liked is um, these bathing suits and Petty Bennett is a demonstrator. I don't even know where she lives, somewhere in the United States. And she had um, kind of texturized um, some bathing suits and flowers with the watercolor pencils and I really liked it so that's what I did and that's what we're gonna do today already 74 degrees oh Debbie that's perfect that's my favorite weather enjoy it please uh, we have another Deb hello Deb Anderson great all right so in, I'm gonna go through the whole thing but um, that's just I'll explain that in a second so I'm using um, <laughs> using these to be honest because I ordered them by accident I ordered four packs of these instead of four packs of envelopes it happens to all of us we order the wrong thing but I like them they are a pack of 20 note cards and envelopes and they come pre-scored they're just plain white envelopes they actually sell them in vanilla and craft also but you also get envelopes too so it's 20 pack I think it's seven dollars so it's really good deal um they were actually less than the envelopes but I mistakenly ordered them. So I'm using these a bunch. 
All right, so we're going to use that. We're going to use that. We're going to use, let me just so we can move this over, watercolored pencils. So they, Stampin' Up! sells two sets, um, assortment one and assortment two. Assortment one has 13 pencils, assortment two has 10, and they're not the same color. Um, so I may be mixing up colors. I don't, I have both, so I don't know which set I'm using, but um, just to point that out there, that they're watercolored pencils. You can use them as um, regular pencils, or you can use them as watercolor pencils, so it's kind of nice. It's a good way, especially for beginners, to get colors, because um, there are a bunch of things you can do with it. All right, so I have already kind of done some of my steps. I already glued on my strips of paper. Save a little time, and I have a second card I'm gonna show you too. And I have these little rectangles. Oh, Nancy joined us. Hi, Nancy. All right, perfect. We have got a few special people on here. Um, so I just kind of measured, did I bring the stamps? Oh no, I have my stamps. I just left the case downstairs. Okay, so I'm using these bathing suits. So what I did is I just kind of measured the bathing suits to figure out the size of my paper. So I have one and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that's what I did. All right, so let's move this stuff over. This is called Sunny Splash. It's a stamp set I'm using. It is in the annual catalog, um, but I didn't bring up the stamp set, but it's definitely a fun summer set. It has um, four bathing suits, kind of vintage looking bathing suits, which are fun, um, and some works. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually do two, because I just wanted to show you the difference between a blender pen and an aqua, oh, they're not called that anymore, a water pen. So I'm going to just copy what I did. So why reinvent the wheel on live TV? So this is polished pink. And I need to actually move a little closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stamp two. And you can see kind of the difference, right? So this one I kind of enhanced and that is plain stamped. And this is, what is this, Tahitian Tide. Okay, that's okay. Sometimes this one gets a little bubbly, so, and it's just kind of ink. So you can take, I'm say take a, um, I keep my old gift cards, and I do the, or I'm just using the bone holder now, and I'm just kind of smoothing the ink out. It might have been a little too juicy, as we say. And then I have to put this somewhere. I have a paper towel. So it doesn't get everything. And let's see if that makes a difference. Could just be a juicy pad. It's a little better. I wonder why that's a little bubbly. All right. And this is Parakeet Party. So these are two of the new in colors. I like them with the polished pink. I could have used Sweet Sorbet if I wanted to, but that was a little bit darker. And so I didn't want to use something that was too, too dark. As you'll see, we're going to color on top of it. All right, that one's a little better. All right, so those are just straight stamping, whereas like these have been modified just so you can see the difference. So what I'm gonna do is take some of my colored pencils. So the blue one, I'm gonna use Pacific Point and Balmy Blue. The pink one, I'm going to use Melon Mambo in Real Red. And then the Parakeet Party, I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green in Garden Green. So I'm going to we'll just start with one. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. All right. So we're just kind of modifying our stamped images. So you can start with either, you can do it with just one color or you can do it with two. I'm going to try to do it with two. And I'm just kind of going with the curves of what I imagine this bathing suit body would be. And I'm going to leave some. I don't want to do the whole thing because I want to leave some um, lighter color on there. Let me do both both of them at the same time. I mean if you want to kind of get a little curve in there, you can do that. Let's 
so she has a nice flat stomach. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back and do a little red. Which you may or may not see, but it just gives a slightly different color in there. And you can definitely see my pencil marks, and that's okay for right now because we're going to blend them together. All right, so those are the two I did with the those pencils. We'll do the do the lighter green first. So this one, I just be careful. I don't want to go over the polka dots, so I'm just trying to like make her have a nice um, waist. I'm just kind of highlighting the sides. I find a duller pencil works better than a sharper pencil. You kind of get more color on, and then if it's really sharp, you're really going to see those lines. All right, so I'll just use a little bit of the darker green on the edges here. Okay, so you can get to see there's a little dimension in there. It's not quite as flat. I'll just do a little on this side, like that. Okay, and the last one is the blue. Let's see if we can get, let's see, Bami blue would be lighter. We can get rid of some of those bubble marks. So I'm just kind of going from the sides inwards. And I don't know about you guys, I could color all day long. So it's important for me to know when to stop. <laughs> because I do like coloring. All right, and then we'll put a little bit of the, a little bit of the darker blue in there. Again, this is going to get blended together, so it's okay that I see some of my marks here. It's almost like I'm just creating a little shadowing. Okay, so that's so that's the blue. So what I did here, I made a little chart. So these three are exactly what I just did, just pencil, and that's it. Took a little more time doing those ones, so they're a little bit neater. And then these ones, um, well, you can see, I used the blender pen. So it blends it, you don't see quite the lines as much, and I'm gonna do that. I actually then put a little Wink of Stella on top. I don't know if you know, the it, a Wink of Stella can actually be used in place of a blender pen. So let me show you what a blender pen is. Mine are super old, and they're like 10 years old, and they last forever, but it's probably time for me to replace them. Um, there's two tips. You can see how... Hi, Patty. I'm glad you joined in making some bathing suit cards. Um, this tip got pushed in, so that's kind of useless. But they're usually the same tip on both sides. Let's see. Here's another one. Um, and you can see that they're stained, and that's okay. That just means they're well-loved and well-used. Um, actually, I'm probably going to use this one because I think it's a better one. So it comes three in a pack, right? So you get three in a pack. So they really last forever. Um, I didn't look up the price. It might be about 12 or $16, I forget, but you get a whole bunch. So before I use them, I always see how there's a little blue on there. I always run it on some scrap paper just to make sure it's clear. The staining's still there, but there's nothing there. So I really don't know what's inside of it. It's like this magic... Um, 
liquid or, or um, I don't know what's inside of it, but it blends things together on a smaller scale. Like I wouldn't, um, it's fine for this, like a whole big thing. That might be a lot. I would use the water painter because I think you can get a whole lot more. So I'm just going over my pencil marks. I sometimes do in a circular motion. You don't want to do too much because you'll, you can see this little pilling. You don't want to do too much because it will pill the paper a little bit. So I'm just kind of going in the direction of my shading and it blends those lines together. And now with this, it also blends the ink, that petal pink, not petal pink, polished pink that we used to stamp the initial bathing suit. All right, so then I'm gonna run it till it's clear and then I'm gonna do the green one. Well, actually, try to blend that edge together a little bit better. Sometimes I go in circle motions. Now this green one, remember I said we had those polka dots, those white polka dots, so I don't wanna go over the polka dots. So I'm just going on like a little circular motion. Blend those lines I did together. Okay, I'll let that dry. And then the blue one. Yeah, this will definitely iron out all those, what I was calling that bubble inked look, because it didn't quite um, stamp how I wanted it. But the blender pen will kind of fix that. All right, so let those dry. But I was curious, I didn't do this before, so that one is with the blender pen. And then these three I'm gonna do with the water painter. So the water painters, I'll show you in the book, also come in a three pack, but the tips are different. So this is a larger tip, there's a smaller one that looks like that, and then the other one is like a, a wide tip for, um, like doing um, painting backgrounds. So this one you actually fill with water. So these really can last forever unless you wreck your tips. Um, and it actually says push, whereas the old ones didn't do that. Sometimes I loosen them up a little bit. I just wanna make sure there's water in the tip. There we go, so I got some water. And these are wetter than those blunt, you can even see it. They're a little bit wetter in the blender pens, but you can do a bigger surface. You can do similar and different things with both the pens. That's why I have both. I was just curious what the difference would look like. This one's definitely more, I guess, watercolor, right? Because there's water in there. But you can kind of see how I'm smoothing out those watercolored lines, or the watercolored pencil lines, rather. I need a little water. Sometimes I cheat and I, I just have a bowl of water instead of squeezing it together. It's like a paintbrush. I use it like a paintbrush a lot. All right, so let's do this one and then we'll compare and see what we like. And it just gives it, it's just a little detail that we're doing. We're not doing this crazy detail. It's just a little texture that we're doing with those. And so again, this, all these three, oh, actually, all these ones have a blender pen. This one has no blender pen. So you can just do the color without blending it together. All right, so I will, I'm just looking. They're actually pretty similar effects. So we'll just throw those on the card and then I'm gonna show you another one that I did with flowers. Um, Cause we can't leave a card unfinished, right? All right I'll just use the top ones for now. Oh, you know what I did? 
Here's my sample. I use string first. So I use, these are the ink colors, the blue and the green. It comes in a five pack, one of each new ink color. I'm just gonna put them together and tie a bow. with it. Scoot it down a little bit and I'll trim that after we put them together. Put the red there. I'm just going to do it in the same same placement I did. And then we'll kind of, I don't know if you can see, I put some pearls and a little um, flower on that one. So we'll do the same thing. Should have the knots in the way, so I'm gonna. Ooh. Unstick that from the string, scoot the knot over. I should have done that before. Towards the side. Oop, stuck to my work seat. All right. I kind of like how they're not really straight. So what I did is I just put some gems over the stamped buttons. So I have some pearls. Ooh, Patty's out of control. So those are just going to go right over there. Just dresses it up. And then the flower I use, it's called Fun Flowers. They have different colors. I use the bigger green to go on the green bathing suit. Like that. All right, so there. Some textured, I guess I should have left some that were un uncolored. Uh, but you saw before that they were kind of plain. So again, it just gives it a little depth. So I'll show you on a flower. I didn't have a... Um, didn't even say this. You need a, a stamp that has like a lot of surface, like it's a big flat stamp. And because outlines, you know, you're not really coloring over the, the images. So I didn't really have a flower, um, a current flower, I should say, one that's in the catalogs now. So I have this one, which is from, I love this set, but it is retired from Healing Hugs. I just love the words and I just, it's a nice, this is one of their first distinctive stamps. So I'm going to use this one because I don't have, don't have another big flower. So we're going to stamp. Oh, I can show you also. I was playing. So this one is just stamped, just ink and stamp. And with this distinctive, you actually can see a lot of the um, texture already in it. That's the beauty of the distinctive stamps. But since this is the only one I had, this is the one I used. So then I went in and I used some red in that Melon Mambo watercolored pencil. And I just kind of, you can kind of see where it's dark and then versus where it's light. So it's kind of an easier one to kind of shade a little bit. So that has the two colors left alone and then this has the colors that I blended together so you really can see the difference between plain stamp added color and then blended color so these ones oh <laughs> minus the dogs I use scrap paper um, I also introduced yellow and I and then I blended it it's too much like that's that's for me a little bit too busy not not too much so I decided not to use the yellow so let me just do one. I'm going to use that same polished pink that I lost. Just to show you. So that's the... And then I used the 
these two colors again, the red and the pink, same ones I used for the bathing suit. So I went and actually my, I found my pink, um, the Melon Mambo pencil to be a little bit darker than the red. So I'm going to do that one actually first, kind of where I want those um, dark images to be. So if you think about it, in a flower specifically, so you already kind of see where it's dark. It's deep in the flower. So that's where you put the deepness kind of against the layers. And I am doing it in circular motion. So all this is going to be darker than the petal on top of it. But then down here it's dark. It's kind of when you see things, you just kind of look at it like, it might all be one color, but where is the shadows? Or where is it darker? Where is the light hitting it? And then this stamp kind of makes it easy because you can already see where it's darker. So even that adds a little bit of depth, just even doing just that. So if I add a little bit of red, again, it just introduces a little bit of a different shade of the color, kind of just kind of putting that on top of the dark pink because it's a little bit lighter, so it will help with the blending. This one makes it easy because again, it's already kind of specifies where you need the colors. But there are some nice flowers in the catalog that you could do this with. I just don't have them. All right, so let me use, use, let me use the water picture. Since it's right here, this one blends a little bit more, so it might actually not be subtle enough. I'll kind of use a light touch. You know what? I'm gonna use the blender pen. That's giving a little bit too color saturation. This is a little more soft. Yeah. So you can also, um, actually I'll stamp another one just with the ink and then you can go over just the ink with the blender pen too. There's a bunch of things you can do. I'm gonna order another set just so they're fresh and new, and we'll do some techniques with the blender pen. It's one of the first things I learned when I learned stamping so long ago was these blender pens. We called them magic pens because they really did some cool things. All right. So right there, you can kind of see the difference of, um, it just kind of brings that flower to life. So this one was just stamped, and then that one is, colored and blended. Let me just stamp another one. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for watching. Joining in. We made, I'll show you again what we made the first card. All right. So I'm just kind of showing some tips with a bl blender pen and the watercolored pencils. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Where did it just go? Here it is. So I just stamped that one, but you can go over and it will, um, especially after you just stamp the ink still slightly wet and you can kind of smooth out or blend just the ink without even watercolor pencils. Sometimes I do this with a, um, oh, I don't have any up here, like an outline image. So a stamp that has an outline and then I'll go with my blended pen and bring in some of the um, color of that ink. And that's one way just to have soft color. So, so you can do that too. And then just run them so they're clear. All right, so those are the tips I had and I'll show you the final cards. Um, where did it go? Oh yeah, so this one, I think I actually did a better, I think I did a better blending job on this one than that one, but I'll make it up. And I did the same thing with the leaves. I stamped it in that same parakeet party and then I colored um, the same, I, so I did the bathing suits, the um, garden green and the granny apple green. Just, you know, 
leaves are easy because you have the veins all in the same direction. So I just kind of did that and then blended it. So that's what I did. Leave that there. And I made a couple of them, but let's see. What else do I have to tell you today? Uh, I put a whole bunch of things in my email yesterday. If you do, don't receive my emails, um, please sign up for them. Um, you can go right to my blog, mailsomethingpretty.com, and right on the um, the right sidebar, you just put your name and your email, and then you'll get up on my list, and you'll get some tutorials right away, and there'll be an option for you to read my newsletter that I sent yesterday in kind of a few emails that I send out automatically. Um, but you'll want to get those because I give kind of good tips on what's going on. And then what's going on in August, let's see, it's the second month of celebration, um, and actually, I was going to show you where those blender pens were. Let's see. These are the watercolored pencils. I had said there's two different packs. Here we go. So the blender pens are up here. So you can do, there's lots you can do with it. Um, yeah, you get three for $12. They last forever. Like I said, mine have to be at least 10 years old. And they've gone through people taking classes. They last forever. You can even split a pack with friends. Um, and then the water painters are you get three for 13 and the tips are slightly different from each other um, so you can use them for similar things and then you can use them for completely different uh, reasons I didn't want to forget to show you that um, so yeah so August is the second month of celebration so they just released new products they had run out of the um, no cards and envelopes the pool party ones and the tree lot dies I think that's what they're called the ones that coordinated with it there's a Christmas set those are gone so they have maybe 12 maybe 10 um, choices um, and some of them I already own they're from the catalog and so I will actually put that up on my blog as well I'll try to do that today um, but that link is in the the newsletter um, and then you can see it on their shopping site too but anyways it's nice you can get some foil papers you can get some embossing folders you can get some dies um, they, I actually, I was, they picked up some good things to get for free. All right. And then I have my August, um, special going on. If you place a hundred dollar order in August, I will send you a pack of festive gems, a wink of Stella pen, which I didn't even use. Um, it just adds a little bit of glitter right from the pen. Hopefully you can see this, um, without getting glitter everywhere. Like we used to. <laughs> when we put glitter on things um, but you can also use this pen like a blender pen because it's actually um, smoothing out some color as well as adding just a little glitter let's see oh I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna put it up hopefully you can kind of see it's just a little glitter you see it yeah there you go a little bit of glitter um, so I'll send you one of these the, the, um, the Christmas gems or festive gems in a, a exclusive tutorial I'm going to design or oh, I'm going to come up with I have some ideas in my head I just have to make them of an over-the-top crazy awesome card and matching envelope so lots of steps and folds and everything so that will be available only to those who um, who do this special also I usually send it to people on my team so if you join my team of stampers they usually get the tutorial too all right that's, I think, what is going on in August that is in my head. Oh, there was a new kit released today. Um, actually, it was really nice. It was a Christmas kit. Um, it had mossy meadow background with oranges and cinnamon sticks and star anise. I really liked it. Um, so that is brand new today. So you can check that out, too. Alrighty, that is it for me. Um, that was a little bit of kind of shading and, and, and bringing to life some of the stamps in a slightly different way. I really appreciate guys watching. Um, again, if you're not on my mailing list, visit my blog and you can fill that stuff out. Uh, make sure you like uh, the Facebook page here so you get notified when I go live. And um, let's see what Laura wrote. Good information. Thank you. I love the bathing suits. Always proper Florida. Yes, I just love how they're kind of vintage. They can, you know they're you know more of an icon of a bathing suit i just really like them so um i've used them a couple of times i'm going to use them some more so i'm glad you like them too definitely perfect for florida all year round um so that's a great set for you laura all right 
Thank you very much. Before I ramble, um, I will sign off and wish you a happy August. And I will see you next week. The week after, actually, I won't have a live on Wednesday because we'll be driving my daughter crazy as it is back to college. <laughs> it's like the summer is almost over for our household. Um, but I will be here next week and I will see you uh, then. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.